buongiorno. Eh, volevo chiedere a Sir Charlemagne eh, le difficoltà di questo ruolo che è molto tutto interiore e tutto di, di sentimenti, di emozioni e quindi come si è avvicinata al, al ruolo e quali difficoltà ha avuto. E poi al regista volevo chiedere invece di questo sorprendente Stanley Tucci, bravissimo perché rende questo killer eh, normale eh, molto pregnante e il personaggio di Susan Sarandon. Ecco, come ha lavorato su questi due originali personaggi, soprattutto quello di Tucci e Sarandon? Grazie. Hello? Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, Susie was a very interesting character for me as a young actor to play because um, she isn't the same through the whole journey of the movie. She changes so much from being um, a, a teenage girl who's quite naive to um, a young woman who has to fight to accept her death finally and to help her family move on. Um, so. I really enjoyed that and I enjoyed the challenge and just having to think about it instead of it being something that was just handed to me. Um, and I had wonderful direction from Pete. He, um, as he said earlier, he just kind of told me where I was supposed to go and I, I built on from that and, um, and the script was a great thing to to build the character on too and we used to have music pretty much every day like 70s music from the year which um which i think helped me more than anything i listened to 70s music and i looked at fashion magazines from that time and watched tv shows and just a lot of discussion and sort of living through that era so do you do you like 70s music bit of music completely yeah i love fleetwood mac and talking heads and elo and everything I'm a bit of a nerd. <laughs> and uh, to, and um, talking about Stanley Tucci and um, Susan Sarandon, yeah, well, we were, those were very important um, roles for us to cast. They're obviously part of the novel, and, and you know, those characters are really defined by um, Alice Seabold to some degree more so than, than by us, because we were obviously adapting them straight out of the novel. Um, I mean, Mr. Harvey, who's played by Stanley, we wanted him to be very, very bland. I mean, we didn't want him to be one of these um, sort of pop culture, iconic serial killers, a sort of Hannibal Lecter type of character. We wanted the opposite. We wanted him to be very um, anonymous and pathetic and have no color or no sense of humor, nothing that sort of made him cool, you know, to watch. It's something, it's like just someone who's very boring, almost. Um, and it's how he gets away with it, of course, because he blends into the local community, the local neighbourhood, and um, nobody even gives him a thought because he's just like a piece of—he's just like another tree in the garden or a piece of wallpaper. He's just there. He's always there, and nobody really—he he doesn't stand out. Um, but Stanley, I, in both those roles, actually, I have to say, in both um, Stanley and Susan's case, we thought of, of those two actors when we were writing the script and we asked them to do the role. They didn't have to obviously read or meet with us or audition or anything. They, they both very fantastic, well-known actors. And so we, they were our, our first and only choice. So we went to Stanley and asked him to play Mr. Harvey, went to Susan and asked her to play Grandma Lynn. And fortunately, we, they both agreed. So we didn't have to look, look anywhere else. Um, and Stanley, I know, was, a, was difficult for him to make the decision. For, and we had at least three meetings with him, or they were phone conversations, because we were in New Zealand, so we were on a sort of, um, you know, that Skype kind of uh, video conference thing with uh, Chris Stanley. And he, he, we, we spoke with him about the role and, and asked him to do it. Um, then he read the script and he wanted to talk to us a bit more about the script. And then we thought he was probably gonna say yes. And, and then uh, the word came through again could Stanley have another conversation with you, which we thought to be a bad sign because he wasn't saying yes, he wanted to talk to us again. And we could see that Stanley was feeling very uncomfortable about playing the role. I mean, he's got three children of his own. He's a very loving father and um, 
and he's a very gentle person. And, and you know, the, the thought of playing Mr. Harvey, I think, was terrifying on some level for Stanley because he has to, as a good actor, he has to become that character. And when I'm filming him with the camera, especially close-ups, you know, his eyes have to reflect the thoughts that he's having. And they have to be real. I mean, it's not a case of pretending. It's a case of he has to put himself in that guy's shoes for the, um, the time that we're filming. And I, th I think he found that to be very difficult. Um, and what we, what we ultimately did is, is have that conversation with him about his physicality. Because as you're probably aware of you know, what Stanley Tucci looks like, he actually looks quite, quite Italian, I have to say. You know, he's, um, he, he, he has a, a, a particular look and very little hair and um, dark brown eyes. And we started to talk to him about Mr. Harvey's look and talked about blue contact lenses, um, giving him a wig where he has this horrible comb over kind of hair and making him feel very pale as if he never sees the sunshine. He's inside making his doll's houses and, and um, his little moustache. And as Stanley started to, to realize that when he was looking in the mirror in his, in his trailer, he would be seeing Mr. Harvey looking back at him. He wouldn't be seeing Stanley. I think he felt more comfortable. He, he found a way that he could agree to do the wrong um, by, you know, by being able to become physically become a different person and, uh, and help to distance him from the character that he, he had to play, the very despicable character. And Susan is just a terrific person to have on set. She is, um, you know, she's exactly the way that she appears to be in the film. Um, I was delighted. I, I'd never met Susan before, but obviously, I, like everybody, I'd seen her for a long time in multiple different wonderful films. And sometimes it's disappointing when you meet those people, um, but not in Susan's case. She's just fun to be around. She's very, very funny and irreverent and uh, doesn't take anything seriously. And it's delightful to, to have on set. And so that was a lot of fun.